blood transfusion. Before beginning this procedure, always perform the following steps to ensure patient safety. Perform hand hygiene. Provide patient privacy. Introduce yourself. Use two patient identifiers. Verify allergy status. Perform environmental safety check. Ensure proper body mechanics. Gather all supplies. Provide patient education. Verify MD order. Assess for procedure need. And explain procedure. Educate patient about the rationale of procedure and associated adverse reactions. Materials needed for blood transfusion. Biohazard bag, alcohol pads, blood tubing, Y tubing, blood product, 500 cc bag of NS, 10 milliliter normal saline flush. Assemble supplies before entering patient's room. Complete pre-transfusion steps prior to blood transfusion and fusion. Two nurses must verify blood before the start of the procedure. Verify blood band with blood unit. Verify blood unit with request form with another nurse. The procedure. Assure patency of IV line. Hang normal saline flush bag. Spike normal saline bag and prime tubing. Filling blood tubing filter completely. Caution, close normal saline roller clamp before continuing to the next step. Spike blood bag. Open blood roller clamp and prime tubing. Be sure to prime the entire line. Connect IV tubing to patient's IV access. Set pump to deliver blood at no more than two milliliters per minute for 15 minutes. Monitor patient for adverse reactions. Measure vital signs after 15 minutes to ensure patient is tolerating blood transfusion. Increase infusion rate after 15 minutes per MD order or facilities policy. Measure vital signs when infusion is complete. Disconnect blood tubing. Flush IV line. Note patient's response to transfusion. Discard tubing and blood bag. Dispose of soiled supplies. Ensure safe environment. Return bed to lowest height with brakes locked and appropriate side rails up and call light bell in reach. Wash hands per CDC guidelines.